just try to stop me. What's up YouTubers and Thundercats fans, today we're going to be taking a look at the Ultimate Panthro figure from Super 7. As you can see, it comes with this wonderful red foiled slip cover. And moving this out of the way, now you can see the large window box that Panthro comes in. Let's slide it in closer so you can take a better look. And unlike the Mattel version or release of this, he comes with quite a bit of accessories. Tools, an extra head, some nunchucks or nunchakus depending on how you pronounce it. Looks like a really fantastic figure. Let's spin the box around. And here we get some beautiful artwork of all the Thundercats. And also a small bio of Panthro. And this reads, Panthro is the symbol of Thundercats strength and wisdom and pilot of all the Thundercats vehicles. An unequaled master of martial arts, meditation, and mechanics. He is strong, brilliant, and funny. <laughs> Though his use of nunchucks makes him a deadly adversary, Panthro's enemies fear and respect him. And up in the top, there's a Super 7 symbol as well. Now that we have him out of the box, let's get a closer look at his paint and sculpt. Here you can see the wonderful work on his head, the great paint and sharp lines. They match the paint on his face and chest perfectly. Here we have a spiked upper piece. It's light blue and pretty flexible. I'm glad you're one of the good guys. And again, the white on his chest. He has the two-tone blue bill, dark on the inside. A really large Thundercat symbol in the center and the paint on that Thundercat symbol is pretty crisp and sharp. I really like the wash that they put all over the figure to tone him down. He also has a silver band around this elbow and also a silver studded bracelet on his right hand. He has light blue shorts. Now let's talk about these shorts for a second. Super 7 immediately released a short video on their YouTube site stating that the short should match this dark blue in his belt. I'll try to find the link and attach it in the description below. Now they did say that they're going to be mailing out the dark blue shorts to anyone that bought these figures. And of course it'll be the correct shade to match his belt. So a hat tip to Super 7 for picking up on that. Moving down to his legs, he has some really great muscular sculpture down to his blue boots. Also he has a, the, the tabby toes or tabby boots just like the ninjas would wear. Dark blue bands around the top and also a small band around his ankle. And of course the belt carries all the way around to the back. A couple of spikes and all his muscles back here. I really lucked out. This panther figure has tight joints, the paint's on point, no issues at all. And here we have all the wonderful accessories that makes him the ultimate panthro figure. He comes with two sets of hands, nunchuck, an action nunchuck, tools. Well, let's take a look at his hands first. And just like my ultimate Lionel figure, he comes with some pretty identical looking hands. I don't know, maybe this one is, the grip is open a little bit more. It's really hard to tell. I'm not sure why they did this. It would have been nice if they gave us different hands, maybe one that his fingers are splayed, more action pose, or something to go with that wonderful head that they added. And the same holds true for his left hands. They're pretty close. Uh, they look identical with the exception of maybe the thumb on this one is a little bit more pointed or straight. This one has a little bit wider grip. And of course, these have the uh, hinge pin that bends, which adds articulation. And these just pop into the figure. grab Panthro and look at the hands that's on the figure itself. I do like these ones. These are more of a scratching or clawing. And the same for this one. What I like to do is pop this off and let's uh, pop them both off and put some of these gripping hands in and see if you can hold some of his accessories. Okay, you just pop into place. It pivots right here. 
Well, same for this one. I really like how they're flexible and easy to change out. I don't feel like I'm going to break them or snap them off. Let's get these hands out of the way. They've included this great looking wrench. And of course you can't be a mechanic without a wrench and we all know that Panthro works on the Thunder Tank. Thundercats are on the moon. Thundercats are loose. Has a nice red painted detail right down the center of the handle. For a second tool, they've included this deep purple or plum looking drill. Got some nice detail on it on both sides. And of course this just goes right into his hand. I wanted to point out, just like the Lionel figure, these hands are pretty flexible. And again, I don't feel like they're going to break. And this really helps him hold on to all his accessories really tightly. And this leads me to the next accessory that Panthro comes with. Yep. He comes with these safety glasses. Even Thundercats have to be safe. These are nice and pliable and this just slips over Panther's head. So now when he's working on the tank or something else, his eyes are protected and I really like this. What a nice touch. All right, let's take these off. Take this out. He also comes with this accessory and Maybe you can help me in the comments below, but it, it looks like some sort of detonator or, I don't know, screen, and this plunger is pretty flexible. So, not really sure what this is, but it's got some great detail and paint apps on it. He comes with his Thundrillium detector. When this detector comes anywhere near Thundrillium, let you know. And his flexible hands help him hold onto this small accessory nice and tight. You got any thundrillium in there? And one more even smaller accessory, he comes with the key to Thundera. You mean this? Almost threw it away! It comes painted bright gold, and even has the really small Thundercats logo in the center. And the logo is actually on both sides. It's made out of a rubbery plastic, so it won't break. And what also helps Panthro stand out from the rest of the team is his weapon of choice. Oh, a fellow chucker, eh? <laughs> the tips are painted silver. Of course, he has the open claws and a really nice chain. And last but not least, he comes with this set of nunchuck, which looks like they're spinning. And this has a open nun on the blue one, and a peg on the bottom of the red one, and this just plugs in here. And it gives the illusion that it's spinning around. And if you put it in his hand and over his head like this, you can recreate that flying scene. And Super 7 included an extra head with Panthro, and I believe they're going to be doing this with all their ultimate figures. He has really nice paintwork on his jaw. His mouth is open. The line work on his eyes is sharp. The jawbone. And of course, this just pops on the Panthro figure. Let's put it on the figure. Push it to your hair pop. I have to say, this head sculpt really brings a lot of life to this figure, especially when you're getting him into all those wonderful action poses. To the articulation. His head's on a ball joint so he can look left and right. He looks up about this far and down about this far. Let's pop this head off again and put the action head on to see if there's any more range of motion. 
All right, let's get this one on. Okay, he looks left and right. He looks up about this far and down about this far. Looks like the same range of motion as the previous head. His arms go up and full rotation on his shoulders. There's a bicep swivel. A bend at the elbow. Not quite 90 degrees. Rotating wrist. A bend at the wrist. There's the ab crunch. So if we crunch down and put his head down, he looks down this far. And he goes back this far. Has a waist rotation. You can do the splits. He has these nice rubbery shorts. You can do the Spartan kick this far. This is Sparta! Fend at the knee. Just rock our ankles. With the toe up and toe down. And I just realized, I forgot to show you, that he actually has thigh rotation as well. He needs all this great articulation because he's incredibly strong. Well, this has been my look at the Ultimate Thundercats Panthro figure from Super 7. He comes with a lot of great accessories, wonderful articulation, and in my particular copy, all the paint is on point. That secondary action head sculpt really breathes life into this figure. And I'm really happy that Super 7 had picked up the ball when Mattel had left off. And this gives us an opportunity to add Panther to our collection. And as always, I want to thank you for watching. And if you like what you see, join the community. Hit that subscribe button. And remember, share your knowledge. And here we go.